So apparently uh, one video of information leads to a question. So one video leads to another. Okay, talking injector seats now. Um, what causes them to fail? And how often do they need to be replaced? Good question. By the Toyota schedule, every 40,000 kilometers, the injectors are supposed to be removed as part of the service to check the valve clearances. To do the procedure properly, correct Toyota procedure is to remove the injectors and replace those seats. If that happened and the job was done right, you'd probably never ever see blow-by. The problem is, there's a few reasons um, under that statement getting done right, if it's not done right. What's not right? Well, firstly as an example, these seats here, that set of four there, they've done just over 200,000 Ks and that's typical of what I would see on a vehicle of that mileage. You can see the seating surface is still pretty good. I believe that the injectors have never been out of that vehicle which is why it's still good. Um, but look, it's around about then that you want to think about replacing them. You even want to think about it at 120. You know, if you're really keen, 120. If you want to leave it a bit longer, 160. 200,000, that's really at the very outside. You know, you're doing a big job. I think you might as well throw a set of injectors at it anyway. Mate, you'll be surprised how well they run. It's like a new car. Dream vehicle. Now, what are the reasons why these seats leak? So, those genuine ones there from 2010. That's eight years old, 200,000 Ks, no problem. We've seen probably half a dozen injectors with minor blow-by from genuine seats that are under 200,000 Ks, and they range from 138 K. Yeah, I'll read them out to you. I've got them up here on the wall. 138, uh, 144, 167. There's another one, 166. Yeah, we've got a wall of fame there, you know, and that's talking genuine seats. Um, we'll get to the non-genuine ones shortly. <clears throat> now, these ones here, you can see they've got a coating over them. They do last longer than the original ones that didn't have the coating. Um, that's the copper here without the coating. You can see the blow-by. Um, copper, copper. Look, it needs to be copper so that it's soft and flexible and it can squash to make the seal. If it's a hard material, it's just not gonna work. Now, so what we've got is copper works well. The only reason they leak is when they've been in there too long. It's called durability. Okay, you can see how had a good seating surface, but eventually it erodes away. I'll turn this one over for you. If you have a look at that side of it, it just starts eroding away, you know. You've got the engine heating up and cooling, hot, cold, hot, cold, all that movement. <clears throat> So that's basically it. Durability, this is what's going to happen. Um, now the other reason seats leak, some people decided to use other materials. Some manufacturer, doesn't matter where, who manufactured them, doesn't even really matter who sold them to you, whose injectors they're under, none of that really matters. What matters is, as you can see there, as I figured out in May, 2016 um, that's brass you know you can see brasses are a lot more yellow than the orange copper color okay what happens with brass brass is intrinsically harder than copper you know naturally and obviously a lot harder than copper I've taken to it with a hammer put it in the old dawn vice you know you can barely mark it see that one there that's been cranked in the vice you can hardly see a mark on it um, do that with copper and you get a big mark in it really easily. So that's the difference. We're seeing a lot of vehicles um, with early state, early blow-by, really bad blow-by actually. I've seen a number at 9,000, also in the teens, 13, 16, 19,000. Quite bad blow-by and all pickups block in about 10 months from being 100% clear to almost fully blocked in 10 months using these sort of washers. So. Look, it's your choice what parts you want to use, but I only recommend genuine parts. It's tested and proven. Here it is here. Genuine parts and genuine procedures. Okay, genuine procedures. That is clean, torque specs, and these are single use only. You must replace them. You can't reuse them. 
Here we've got a few where people um, try and do their own thing. You can see what's happened here. They don't clean the ports. They put them in with dirty ports and what happens there? Well, these ones are pretty bad, you know. What happened to one of these? Look, I don't know which one it was. You know, there's a whole heap of them here. How many do you want? So, what happened to one of these people? You know, 40,000 K service. They've pulled the injectors out. They've reused the washers and just blow by straight away. It's an absolute mess. Blocked oil pickup. You know the story. And if you don't, keep watching because there'll be more videos explaining all this information. For the simple reason, I can't fix it all on my own. I can't do all these jobs on my own. So, going to share the information and the understanding that I have in hope that it's going to help you guys. The DIYers, the techies, whoever's doing these jobs out there, you need to understand these vehicles. Um, it's a technical job. Uh, it needs to be done right. So, that's a bit of a long one for you. Six minutes. Over and out.